Hi, I'm Steve Lemke from LG Silicon Valley Lab, and I'm going to show you what we're demonstrating here in the AGL showcase at CES 2018. Uh, we have been working with AGL for about a year now, and we're going to show you some of the things that we've done with it based on our experience working in WebOS for smart televisions. Um, here is a, a fairly common view of AGL and the standard home screen, but on this particular system, which is a rear seat entertainment system, we've brought our media technology from WebOS, things like Amazon uh, Movie Playback and YouTube, and I'm going to show you some video playback here. So here's some video playback from CES, and this is a concept of a rear seat entertainment system that's showing audio and video playback on AGL. On this system here, we have uh, two screens running on the same CPU, and so we've extended AGL by the use of a new window manager and system compositor that allows us to generate images for the main screen, which are running again in landscape mode with a menuing system on the left that's easily customizable and changeable for each customer. Um, our application view is on the right, and we can also send that detail view up to the upper screen. Um, in addition to generating these two screen views, we also, in the navigation app, can actually send information of the map image over to the instrument cluster you see over here, uh, which shows routing information and other things. So this system is a third AGL system running on a separate computer that is running our instrument cluster. So back to the IBI system here, we have several applications that are running here and we've instrumented them to have a second screen view so that we can show off what our two screens can do. Um, an AGL phone app, for instance, normally has one view or another view here and you switch between them. But we can actually show two screens of information and interact with both of them at the same time on either screen. Um, in addition, there's another app that has a second screen view. And now that we've got several apps running with second screen views, we can actually pull up an application switcher. This is still live in each of these thumbnails and we can switch between easily between the different applications. Even though we have a different app on the lower screen, we can show the navigation app on the top screen. Uh, in addition, one of the things that we can do here is we can show a backup camera um, it's coming from our driving simulator. So we're actually streaming now video from the backup camera showing behind the car. And this is a rendered image, but it's coming from our driving simulator. So I'll talk about the driving simulator next. Um, we're driving around the streets of San Francisco. We have hundreds of simulated cars that we're interacting with. I think that's Moscone Center on the left. Uh, you'll notice in the car here, uh, the wheel turns as we turn. And the dashboard is actually showing our AGL view. So up here you can actually see that's the live map image and this isn't just for show or for fun. We can actually render this view into a VR headset and the user in the headset will still be able to see the screen even though they wouldn't see these screens. So the reason we do that is you can see the interior of the car, the exterior of the car, and we can actually model different dashboard layouts and screen arrangements to try different uh, setups before we actually construct them or lay them out in our physical car lab. Um, and as you've seen, that video is actually bi-directional into and out of the simulator. We send video from AGL into the simulator view. We send the backup camera from AGL, or sorry, from the simulator into the AGL screen. So again, the car simulator is actually sending all of this real, the, the simulated car data back to our instrument cluster. We see our speed. Um, and other, other car information presented on the instrument cluster view. And then all of these cars in the simulator are sending information like their location and speed to our cloud services. So up here we see a view, this is a, an aggregate view of where all the cars are currently driving around in the city. And the second view is actually showing events that have happened recently, such as a collision or a swerve or a hard braking event that were detected by those cars. Uh, there's a cloud of smoke over here. It looks like there was an accident up ahead. We actually have a notice that was pushed down to our instrument cluster saying traffic issue ahead. And of course, here it is on the map view. So this was all reported in real time. As that accident happened, it showed up here in the cloud view. And those events were pushed back down to any cars in the area with both the notifications and the map view icon. 
So as you've seen, we've been doing a lot of things with AGL here. We've connected it into the cloud. We've got some rear seat entertainment here with video, uh, premium content video. We've got a two screen IVI system with a custom system UI and multiple screen support. And then also sending uh, rendered surfaces like the navigation view into the instrument cluster, which is a third system running AGL. Uh, and all of that is enabled by our Unity-based 3D graphics driving simulator uh, with our simulated cars and uh, the environment that we have that we're driving around in for San Francisco. Thank you very much.